this is our last section of the Write With Me. Now is the chance to ask your questions. Let me know how your work's going. And I hope that most of you will continue it on into the book in a month. And if you didn't get on to the book in a month this time, I hope you'll make the rounds next time. Because we do have some fun in there, too. But what problems have you run into? Anything? Any questions? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, hi there. My name is Jeremy. I'm just wondering if I am audible. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, excellent. I haven't started using the solution yet. I'm a bit oh. confused. I want to join off, obviously, as a, I'm going to go with the paid version. The thing is, I already wrote my book, but I feel like there is a lot that needs to be improved there. I'm writing a factional, so it's fiction with uh, mixed with the real facts. Can Sudo Write help me with an existing book it that can. I wrote? It can. However, I'll give you one caveat. I suggest you start with a new project one that you're not invested in, to learn the software and learn how it works. And then you can certainly bring in an existing book and make it work from there. But it's really frustrating to try to learn the software at the same time you're trying to figure out how to make it do an existing book. Learning how it works. I see how it can develop a story for me, mm -hmm. but I already have my story, so... Mm -hmm. What can you guide me to how I really want to achieve completing my book uh, with uh, are, AI? Are you talking about complete writing it? Or are you talking about uh, going through it and editing it, making it better? But going through it and making it better. And maybe if there are any ideas there that I am missing, the AI can suggest something for me. I think you'll find today's session might help you some. We're going to do some editing today of the pros that we put together earlier this week. Okay. So, Sounds good. But go back and watch some of the beginning videos. There's a 101, 201, and 301 that will show you how to actually use the software. And Okay. Okay. I'll do that after the session. I'll have a look. Thank you. I just stick around at the classes, and I think there's a class on starting with existing work. If there's not, there will be. Okay, please keep me in mind. Uh, and okay. me in yeah. In yeah. the in the Discord, pull up the pseudo right Discord. Oh, it's about to die. I'll share the screen. Chat up again. There is a course videos and it's toward the top. And the okay, uh, I don't have Discord yet, so I need to install Discord. You don't. Or you can run it through a browser. But Dis okay. Discord yeah. is the here. Link? Yeah, let's see. Let me, I'll add you. And copy the link. I'll put the link in the chat. Amazing. Because that's, that's where the learning takes place. It's where the discussion takes place. You can ask for help. You can ask for features. Okay. But look, there's lots of people in there, and that it's very helpful. So thank you. You really need to be in Discord if you're going to use Sudo. Amazing. Thank you very much. In fact, today, I think, was uh, <laughs> the fix-it price. And they were trying to fix some of the bugs because we told them that we didn't want new features until they had the existing bugs fixed. They, I think they took care of that. But I'll, have, I'll have to check and see. And also, if you're on your Sudorite screen, which I will. If you click the question mark, actually, you don't have to. From the pros generation screen, you see where it says attend live classes, and you can sign up for live classes there. 
I assume you know how to sign up for live classes because you're here. So that's good. Interesting. Okay. okay. I think, I don't think John's talking to us. <laughs> oh, so, Lynn, the only problem that I came across is when I tried to generate a chapter, it would stop halfway through, but still charge me the full credit. Yeah, that's a bug that they're working on. And what you can do is you can email hi at Soonercom. I'll put that in the chat and maybe get some of your words back, your credits or whatever. Uh, that, okay. That, that's actually the best way to get support is to actually email them. And okay, Samuel ran out of words. If you don't want your account paused and you ran out of words, you can always buy a a package. And now I guess it would be a package of credits. And I will show you on mine. You can see if you click the little gear wheel, you can see how many credits you have left. And I have extra because I bought more. Uh, and if you click on um, buy more credit, it tells me if I just mouse over it, hover over it, it tells me that 600,000 of my credits will expire on the 12th, but 2 million, 2.5 million have been purchased. And so they will roll over. But if I did want to buy more, I could click on the buy more credits under there and depending on your subscription package, your cost for credits will ch change slightly. But I'm on the, was it, $30 a month tier, whatever that one is. And I can get $4 million for $99, or I can get just under $2 million for $49. So. And th those will never expire. They they will continue to roll over. If you're on the max plan, any credits you don't use will roll over. But the plan I'm on does not roll over credits. So if I don't use however many that was, then it will. Uh, <clears throat> I'll, yeah, I have, yeah, I'm going to have to use 600,000 credits. Which is for me is probably over. no problem. Is that rollover open ended? I thought it uh, went after the six months. I thought it still deletes. Not the purchased. Credit. Okay. Okay. I think the rollover in the plan may okay. have some limitation on it. Yeah, six months. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I got confused by that. There seemed to be three different options, so I wasn't okay. sure what was going on there. Yeah, they're, I think they're still tweaking things. I don't know whether yeah, they yeah. finalized or not. So that's, oh, yeah. Samuel says 12 months on the rollover, so. Okay. <laughs> I know they okay. had talked about several different things, and I don't think I heard yeah. a fine. And I, I gather a number of people have more than one account. Yes. But yeah. do you have to pay for those separately, or can you divide up your credits between two accounts? You have to pay for them separately. Each, each account earns separately. its own credits. Yeah. Okay. You can't just split your credits. It's just, it's, it doesn't seem to have any sort of development environments or any place where you could keep work in progress versus things that you regard as production. You've got all your projects in one place and it right. gets a bit messy. And it, just, you know, it's always label, reordering. Them. Label your projects that way. Yeah. But it, and it always reorders them as well. It would be good if you could just sort them in your own order, but. Every time you open I know. Up, it like, drives me crazy. I go, it's my project gone. I, so. Do they have a, I thought at one point they were talking about a search button. Yeah, I haven't seen one. Yeah, there. there's a search. There's a search. Oh, is there? All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have a search up here, so you can, if you name your projects and can remember what they did. Yeah. Yeah, I do name them all. Oh, Mira said still... that's the only way she can find hers. Welcome. Yeah. Lynn, I do have a question though. In the story Bible, is there an undo if you accidentally deleted something? There's your history. Oh, okay. I'm and not able to get to that. I've tried, and I can't seem to find it. 
<laughs> it's on each box. Let me let me go back into our favorite project here, I think. Is that the one we were on? No. Okay, which one? Don't tell me I put that in the wrong project. <laughs> I think I did. Yep, I put it in the wrong project. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so we'll see how to fix this. Because I don't think this project has anything in it. Oh, wait, yeah. This is my Western Contemporary. And this chapter is for the book we've been working on. Yeah, see, you can get confused. <laughs> I can, I get confused anyway. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, we don't have a copy on this one. I will have to fix that, but I will click in here and select all and copy it, and then come back into the project that we've been working on because I want to get the right story Bible stuff. The other one has a whole different synopsis and set of characters. And so I can add new. And I'm going to add a new, see if that's going to work, chapter one. And I'll come down here to the prose and I will paste it in. And this one I'm going to call. <laughs> now, if you're like me, it's. Good is not necessarily the final, and final is not necessarily the final. I have final one, final two, final three. What this one is, it's the kit bash one that we started on yesterday, and I finished kit bashing the three different versions that we ran from the three different LLM models. But I haven't edited it. I there's some transitions because I did move things from one place to another and i got to, i was thinking about it's talking about the temperature it's talking about that it's hot here we have the sweat we have the scorching and then we have more sweat i don't know whether this is going to be important to the story or not if it's not i don't need it because we don't want to spend time or words on something that's not going to advance the plot and figure that forward. I'll leave it for now, but I'm just, eh, maybe not. Let's see if we want to keep it. Uh, but I, I did put some of it together and we did come down and this is pieces from both. And I also added some prose to tie it together too. But, and then we have, it ended up to be 2146. And then Anna comes in and she's talking about the news that she's engaged. And then she's engaged to Jessica's high school boyfriend. So here's where we find out that she's still single. She's struggling to keep her business afloat. Uh, <clears throat> Anna's going on and on about her wedding plans. And then, so here she's thinking that she needs to do something in her life because she's older than her sister. Her sister is having the life changes that she would like. And then we have Evelyn. And Evelyn has come into the room, and I may have to figure out that see how I want to make that flow better because she was in the other room but she was still talking with Jessica so here she's talking Jessica's talking with her about the engagement and about how she envies her sister oh. Oh. and then here, I want a bigger break because, and I'll format this in another software, but then we switch to Monday morning. 
So are we allowed to ask questions now? Or? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Let's just pick one of these paragraphs that you are showing here. Jessica. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Evelyn ties with her chin up gently just because you said so. So maybe this paragraph, I'm not happy with it. Uh-huh. I want to create a dialogue on this part and ask the AI to generate a dialogue out of this paragraph. Is that possible? That absolutely. However, this does have dialogue. Maybe we want another one that doesn't. But in the right, you have right mm-hmm. here, if you pull the thing down, you have right settings. Okay. And what they Let have done up. here is they have added the capability to select the model that you want to use. And this is by and large best pros. So I am going to ask for best pros here. I'm going to cut the number of cards down to two because we don't need to drill that much down. And let me make the, I'll give it 250 words. So I like, like that right setting. Let me find a better paragraph. Okay. <laughs> now let's take this one where she took a deep breath. She's considering it. I can click on rewrite. And on rewrite, I have several choices. I can rephrase it. I can make it shorter. I can make it more descriptive. I can tell it to show, don't tell. I can have more inner conflict. I can make it more intense or I can customize it to make it something else. And if we customize it, you could say add more dialogue here. For this, I don't think we need dialogue, but we can say more intense and more emotion. So how much can I put in this text box? Does it have to be precise, short, or can I write as much as I wish? You can't write as much as you wish, but I haven't tested it to see how much you can put in. Let's see. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, you seems... can put in quite a bit. Yeah. Seems... And they are working to make the boxes bigger. So. Then duplicate what you have in there a couple of times and see how many times the more intense, more emotion fills up the box to see. Because the other day when I was in there, it only let me have two to three lines, I think. So unless they did something recently. Today is Fix It Friday. Yeah. They did. but <laughs> That's exciting. I haven't read the thing about how there much. There it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Apparently that about your word limit <laughs> about 14 15 words somewhere in there 10 10, 10 yeah. to 15 i Something. think depending yeah. on how long they are yeah <clears throat> so we could ask them to see if we can't make it bigger and yeah they did change it so on in the main window you can highlight up to 650 words and work at that all at the same time. Okay. So if I do a re if I do a go, see what we get. <laughs> and here we get more the purple is what it's added. The white is what's still in there. Okay. Okay, her chest tightens. It's it's giving us more physical description, mind racing, suffocating cycle of complacency. I'm not sure that's true. Let's see what the other one says. Stagnant existence. No, no. Here we go. United with a fiery determination within her. Check your bingo card. <laughs> okay. Fueling a relentless strive for change. I think out of the two, I like the, the it cut off because I think it was it would probably go to say this is the jump she needed. Uh, 
if I want it. So from just here. some background on this, if that's okay. The the text you have in the middle. <laughs> um, did you import that from a, a Word document or you? No, I all... I created this in the. Go back and watch the videos for session one, two, and three. Okay. That was where we created the text. And yesterday I had three different versions of it. I ran it with best pros. I ran it with most accurate and I ran it with balanced. And so I took, if we look back over here, I put it all into the Snowshin document. Okay. This was the most accurate version. This was the best prose, and this was the balanced. And what I did is I took each the pieces that I liked the best and merged them together under this merged prose. I copied the merged prose and put it back in the pseudo write document. Right. So I notice chat GPT on your tabs. Is that something that helps? You can connect to it through that's a separate window. And if you look in chap session one, use chat GPT, I used Claude, and I used Sudorite to come up with some story premises. So that's really how we started. Okay. Right. Yeah, unfortunately, you come into the last session, so we're... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Important. By the way, I'm in the UK, so... Ah, uh, it's oh, it's nearly midnight. Too. It's nearly one o'clock, and I'm staying awake. I really want to finish my book, and I hope John, I can. Johnson, are you are you in Ireland or the UK? The UK part of Ireland, John Troy. So we do have some, and we also have some people that are in the South Pacific and Australia and all around. Okay, the history for the Story Bible boxes is here. I can go into brain dump and you see, I have the, I have a little clock. I've got two versions of the history for the brain dump. And I, I don't know that I did the genre too much. So I may not have history there. Oh, come on. I guess I don't have a history in that synopsis. I should have a history. Yeah. See, I have, have quite a history. If you remember, we did the synopsis and then we massaged it. And we did it again. I think we took the synopsis and put it in the brain dump and then we created the synopsis from that. And this will tell you the most currents on the bottom and the earliest is on the top. And then to go into the synopsis, you have the same sort of thing. We can tell how See, we have several versions of our synopsis. And then the ellipse. We have several versions of the characters because we worked on them quite a bit. And then we have several versions of the outline. Come on. There's, there's all the saving of the back of the outline. Sooner right makes it very difficult to lose text. It's very good about keeping your text. Now, uh, if you can delete a project, and it will ask you if you really want to do it. If you really delete your project, it's gone, and they can't get it back. But if you think you you can't find some text, you've lost it, even if it's not in your history. If you ask the Pseudorite team at hi at Pseudorite.com, they probably can get it back for you. They've been very good about that. So if I go into the chapter we had, and you saw that. So when you said they can get it back for me, does that mean that my writing is shared on an open platform that you want no, to access no, to it? No. But if the system deletes, it goes into sort of like a trash on the server. And I don't know exactly how they do it, but and I have never 
I probably shouldn't say this out loud because it'll happen tonight, but I have never had it lose anything where I couldn't find it. But if you can't find it, you can ask the team and they'll be able to find it. And also, it's not training the AI on your work. All it knows is what about your story is what you have put in the boxes. Pseudorite is a front-end interface into the uh, LLM models. It's got a little bit of coding in there. Uh, part of the coding with uh, OpenAI, they've made a deal so that it's not as censored as the regular OpenAI because they are a big customer. And they have a responsibility for monitoring that we're not doing illegal things on their server. So they're taking that responsibility. So OpenAI said, okay, we'll let you get around that a little bit. On the other hand, like Claude, which is this pros, they came out with version 2.1 that is, it is so restricted, it cannot write fiction. It'll tell you it won't write fiction. You can get it to do a little bit if you really tweak it, but so the Pseudorite team went to Anthropic, which has Claude, and said, can we hook back into the interface for 2.0 because 2.0 does a good job on fiction. It doesn't like to do the not safe for work stuff. Bye, David. Have a good weekend. But it will do a good job with fiction. In fact, it's my favorite model. There's a little bit of programming on the pseudo right side, but not a whole lot. The majority of it comes from the big LLM model. If I really want to, I could insert that. I don't know that I do. But... Mm -hmm. And I'll finish the line since it cut off. That's probably 250 words. I asked it for 250, and it may have cut that off, or it may just have stopped. I don't know. But I can also, if I take that whole first scene. <laughs> I think that's going to be... No, it's not too much yet. Now, I'm going to use one of my own plugins. This plugin is very expensive because it's using the 32K version of OpenAI. If I do the plugin, I don't want the... If I do the developmental editing rewriter, that will ask. Can you please it, be more specific on the expensive. What does that mean? How expensive? The each model costs a certain number of credits, and the thirty-two K is extremely expensive. And I think it costs me straight with the within the. OpenAI platform, I think it cost me, was it $5 for 15,000 words or something? When you're generating text, it will tell you how much each model will, esti an estimated mm -hmm. cost of credits. And because when I'm teaching, I don't care about credits. I'll just run this and see. And I think this is one of the things where you have to, that particular model will take 5,000 words of input. And that's why it has to have such a big context window. Then, of course, it has to generate your output. Your input also counts against your credits, but your input counts about half the cost of the output credits. But if I come up here, 
Then I come down here. We'll see if it's okay. Jump over there. Why the computer's so slow tonight? Oh, it says it's loading. Okay. That's a big. Okay, so here, it's the suggestion is to ground the reader more firmly in the setting. A clear description of Willow Creek and Jessica's flower shop. Explore her feelings more deeply when she learns about her sister's engagement. Uh, her reaction is a mixture of shock, hurt, and jealousy. So let us feel that with her. Expand on the relationship between Jessica and Evelyn. Their bond is important to Jessica's character. Add more dialogue to keep it moving forward. And so here we have the, uh, oh, but we start with the morning sun. Check your bingo card again. Uh, so, Elaine, the beats I noticed that at the beginning when I started my account and created it, is ask for the beats. Is there any limits for how the beats needs to be? Or Yes. And I will suggest you go back and look at the section two video, session two. Yeah. Because that's where we do. The beats need to be in a certain format. And that session goes quite deep into that. Okay. Thank you. And I will link those videos here in a minute. Uh, right. If you can stick the links, that would be amazing, honestly. Uh, yeah. Um, the way behind. We have... So I'm going to copy this, <laughs> and I'm going to add a new document. I'm going to add a new Chapter 1 document. Of course, I don't need their setting suggestion. I'll call this Suggested Rewrite, because I'll have to go through and verify it, and I may want to kid bash this one with the... Final version, I kit bashed the other day. Like I said, final is not final. The good is not the final word of anything. <laughs> yeah. Tomas is absolutely final. The character. final. I could have named, instead of naming the character chapter good, I could have named it final. But I know it's not final. This is like maybe version two. Because as, as you see, I've got, a, I'm working on a gazillion chapter ones. So I need to label the ones that I really need to work on. So this was the first kit bash version. And the suggested rewrite is the one that I'm adding. It's uh, the developmental editing suggestions. And I'm going to leave. Oh, yeah, we reported that too. Let me. See if this is going to work. I'm going to delete that. And I am going to. Come on, open it up. Let me type here. I think it's Control Shift B. That, oh, <clears throat> that preserves the formatting. If you don't, it just, you saw what the formatting did. It just ran it all together. And so it did. I think there's fewer words. Didn't we have, we had 600 some odd words input. And when it came back, it gave us 564. That's interesting. But Tomas is right that the plugins solve specific problems, but they're not very frugal usually. And without knowing what model they're using, you really have no idea about how expensive they're going to be. Let's look and see how much that cost us. Under here, show recent activity. That cost us 18,000 credits. 
the 600 words in and the 500 words out. And remember, part of the 500 words is the diagnosis of what would make it stronger. I did, I took out the part, I used to tell you what you did right and then what you did wrong, but I took out the what you did right to save a little bit of credits. And if you did it right, that's fine. And you can also take this and run the same prompt in either chat or Claude and get it to do your editing there if you want. Let it tell you. And I will. Let's do that just to see. Go back here. And because I know it's Claude and Claude has a big window, I can grab all that and I can go here. Put up Claude. And I will start a new chat. And I will. Editor, contemporary romance fiction, please evaluate following text and make suggestions for making the text more appealing to readers. And, yeah, I'll say make the writing stronger. So this is another way to do it. And then I can, let me do that. Do that one. I pasted the content in. And then I am... I should be on 2.0 because that's what I've set it to. But if it tells me it can't do it, I'll know we're on 2.1. Okay, more backstory, inner motivation. Why is the fire shop important? Her feelings, flesh out Evelyn's character. More background on Noah. Wait a minute. Noah is from another book. <laughs> I think. Is our hero here, Noah? We'll have to change that if that's the case. Okay. Focus on enhancing character motivation. Let's see. So is there a way to say, oh, okay, you're going to do it? Yeah. Please rewrite this chapter. You're say, please rewrite based on this. Yeah. Okay. Existed changes. And basically, this is the code behind that plugin I did. It's, of course, it's not word for word, but it's close. Feed it into that. It real right. To do the editing, what you can do is you can ask for a lot of help from the AI. But you'll have to combine it with your own writing skills and your own techniques and possibly your own voice if the model isn't following your voice too much. That's interesting. Copy the code. Let's, let's see what it's going to do here. Oh, he is Noah. Okay. I guess Noah is becoming one of the favorite names of AI. So we'll have to have to deal with that later too. Okay. 
And then when it finishes, I'll come back in. Um, what? Already in danger of losing her heart? I don't think so. I'll copy that, but I'm going to uh, If you remember in my outline, I said to end on a cliffhanger, but it really hasn't been doing that. In the edits, I'm going to say end on a cliffhanger. Right. Okay, so it's only rewriting that last scene, and that's fine. Oh, okay. Now, here's where I start nagging Claude. Now, in, in Claude's defense, it doesn't have the synopsis. I could have fed all in all the story Bible information so it would know about the story. But I'm going to say this is a marriage to convenience. <laughs> no. Romantic relationship. And he'll probably apologize. <laughs> He's good at apologizing. Oh, no, he just said got it. Okay. So you can go back and forth with some of the models. And you could do the same thing in chat. And I, I don't know whether he has made, I don't think he's made her the offer yet. So I'll, I'll have to go back. This is what you get without bringing in the backstory so that it knows what's happening. Uh, which I could do. Let me go back to Suda, right? And I'll grab the synopsis. Back to Claude. <laughs> I know. Uh. And this is why I suggest you watch the videos at a higher speed because then you won't be watching somebody type all the time or watching it generate. This will give you better information for a rewrite. I guess I better put the synopsis in there. Okay. And it will think about it for a bit. Oh. It's giving me the outline. That's interesting. I'm going to let it run right now. Because I'd, I'd like to see its outline. I don't think we outlined it in uh, Claude, did we? Yeah. 
Can I give it? No, well, I didn't tell it to do an outline, which is interesting. But I have told it to use this format for outlines before, so maybe that's why it didn't know it's okay. I come down here and say, rewrite chapter one. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, here we did get into the reason for the proposed marriage at convenient. All this is running. Any questions? Does this help give you an idea of how you can use the AI to help you edit? To be quite frank, the last part is a little bit confusing. I don't know how it's helping. Okay, no, it's doing the, it's still doing the outline. So you have to nag it and go back and forth. Huh. Manuscript prose is a term it likes for chapter one. But I might want to keep doing the outline and pull the outline back over into the prose part. I still don't know why the heat's important. But we did get rid of the sun. And Claude tends to write shorter than either one of the models of OpenAI. But we'll see if that, yeah, it really shortened the scene with her sister. Just continue because it didn't finish. One of my most common things. And I'll, Jeremy, I'll show you how the, when you're actually doing the new, if I do a new document, I'll do one chapter two. the outline we did the outline in I think we did it in the chat but we actually generated the beats in the outline so I'm going to use the beats in the outline for come down here and I'm going to the beats in. I'm gonna. This is. Do I know what that yet? Right in third person. Limited point of view from Noah's perspective. Avoid Tilly. Go using action. Okay. I can put anything I want to above the beats, but when I have the number one, that tells it that is the first beat and that's where it will start. And we want to make sure that each beat has enough beef in it to give it enough action to show us about 200 words. If they're just thinking about something or changing their mind or deciding something, that's not going to be action that's going to show. Bye, Carl. Have a good weekend. So here it says that it estimates it's going to write 2,800 words and it will cost 20,900 credits. This is using balanced. And if we pick balanced as the smart yet cost effective, if we go with most accurate, 
it goes up to 38,700 with generating the same number of words. If we use this prose, it drops down to 16,300. So, I think Arabores is the lowest at the moment. Yes. So, other than the mixtral, which is free, obviously. We've right. seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> I so, don't think I don't think any of the test ones will do what I want it to do. No? Oh no. Those are my favorite and those are the ones that I usually use. I will check on fastest. Oh, see, fastest is only twenty three hundred and Fastest can do very well, and Fastest can do very well for, like, fight scenes that have a lot of action. That yep. can. And as Tomas says, you can use your style box breakdown in your category in the headers, too. So usually what I do with, I have a standard headerish thing, but if I run it and I see that it's going off the rails someplace, it's doing something that I don't want it to do, then I can correct it in the header and rerun it. So I let it see what it's going to do and then try to nudge it back in a different direction if it's yeah. totally off the rails. Has uh, that concept of guardrails gone now? Because we used to use guardrails at one stage, didn't we? But has that you gone? Can, you can still use rails. Yeah. actually came about because that was the prompt linkage through. Guardrails right. and drivers were on the back end. Yeah. And, yeah. But but if you think like that, you can still use them. Yeah, I haven't seen them used very often lately in any of the classes, yeah. so I just wondered whether they'd gone. But yeah. uh, there we go. Yeah. It looks like Erebus is the same yeah. cost as fastest. I've heard some things about Goliath lately. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, Goliath's more expensive yet. Yeah, it is the worst of all. Yeah, no, well, not quite. Most accurate, I think, is the worst uh, in terms of cost. Yeah, that was what thirty-eight thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mythomax is twenty-seven hundred, so that's not bad. So, if you have a concept that you're not, if you just want to try out a concept and you're not trying to get close to publishable po pros, yeah. yeah, and use one of the cheap models. Yeah, there's absolutely, and you could use a cheap model. And then you could put it in OpenAI or Claude and do the same kind of editing things that I've been doing tonight. Is there Are there uh, guidelines on these models? Like you just mentioned, the fact that you could do fight scenes works well with most accurate. Is there any other tips like that with the other models that's you know, has most appropriate to use? Them? I use science. Well, my, my, all my books are science fantasy, but I, I use prose and I use most accurate. Right. That's probably the two Ooh. that I use the most. I've tried uh -huh. the others, and they they all <laughs> seem to go off a little bit. They're not right. quite what I was expecting. But yeah, I don't know. Is there any guidelines on which, especially the new models, about what the benefits are? What came yeah. out of the assessments that folk did? Is there yeah, a, like a report or anything out of that assessment of the models? I don't know if I can find it. I found this on the web for is there are any guidelines on these models? Yet you just mentioned the fact that you could do a fight scenes works with most accurate. Is there any other tips like that with the other models that snow when it's oh. most appropriate to use them and learn John, what your son happening? is? Remind my oh my box science fantasy woods and Josh Proms and they use most accurate. That's probably the two that I use the most. I've tried the others and they all seem to go for a little bit. They're not quite. She put that in the Uh, if I knew what she was going to call it, uh, I know they're working on putting better, more better documentation out, but I might have it. They made us a model channel, I thought. No. 
Okay, while I have this one here, I'll copy that into the chat. This is the second session. We've got the model selector. Thought she had a I'm not seeing her document. And I I'll look around for that and I will put it up for you. Industry news. Okay. Thank you, Samuel. They say it's in the last twenty four hours it's been posted like three times. It's definitely a like she's posted. Is it that? Is it in Sudorite or is it in AIWC? Oh no, it's definitely in the Sudorite. Like in, like I said, like definitely in the last twenty four hours, this question has been asked and posted like three. I know she, she answered once. Harshiri answered one or two times, in okay. different, different areas like general and help. So it's definitely in there. Yeah, and I don't see the models channel for me is above info, but you don't even have the. The blocks there for some reason. Oh, maybe I am not. Browse channels, maybe. Uh -huh. Okay, so where are we? I want to view it. No, that's the Cole's book. <laughs> Who put that up? John. One of the John. <clears throat> okay, so it's not there. You don't think that's a link to it right there where it says looks like SW models in general? That's Oh, maybe. Ah, could be. Could be. Okay. Uh, thing of the week. The classes. Oh, why don't I go on with the presentation? Tomas, would you mind looking for that? Yeah, what's he looking for? The, the, the breakdown. The fight scenes and sex scenes and stuff like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think there's anything like that, but I'll have a look. Yeah, because it, it's there someplace. I know it is. Some specific answer. Yeah, I'll take a look. Yeah, and we'll see what Bud is doing. Ah, I think we're getting melodramatic here. Grieve the shining future that would never be hers. So there's the continuation. We still didn't get into. Like it, can you? What other questions do we have? I think if you go to the second video, the first one will be there too. I haven't made them a playlist yet, and I need to. We go back into Sudorite. So we get to those suggestions. And then we can go ahead and look at chapter two. And we have the we do have a the beat. So if we wanted to, we could generate it. We generate with most accurate, see what happens. If we do most accurate, it's going to cost 38,700 credits. I will let that generate. Do you feel better about creating your own work 
using the tools to actually produce your manuscript. Talk to me. Yeah, I do. Thank you. I hope so. I hope you found this series helpful and come up with ways to actually get your own ideas on paper. Is that what we're or on screen? What do we say these days? <laughs> get it created digitally. So, uh oh. Is there anything else you want to see? Anything you're not clear on? I posted a link to one of Nicole's breakdowns of the different oh, models. Thank you so very much. But it does not break it down specific things like fight scenes, but people have asked that. And there's also a couple of plugins. But what happened was because of that Fix It Friday, uh -huh. if you put models into the search engine right now, it uh -huh. pops a hundred times between like now and 9 a.m. because yeah. of questions were being asked about. Yeah, I, I, that's what I ran into. It's yeah. Yeah, so it was like actually getting before that. Was... Well, they were telling us what they were doing, which is nice. That's one re neat thing about Sudorite is the team is right there. And the team will listen to us. And sometimes we have to let them know which bugs or features we think are important. And you can do that by, if you click on the question mark, and then suggest a feature that will take you to a list of the features and you can vote on which ones you think they ought to work on next. And they are having a retreat next week to talk about what they're going to do for the next quarter and what that's going to look like. So you might get things in there now. Yeah. But yeah, that, that link I put in there to the Nicole thread even though it says like December 20th or whatever, that's the same thing. It just keeps getting reposted and reposted when people have. Mm -hmm. Can't believe. Okay. Sorry, quick question, please. What make to the right better than just speaking directly with chat GPT, maybe even four rather than 3.5? Yeah. Well, like I said, there's the censorship issue. You can get away, you can't get away with a lot. You can get away with more from Pseudorite than you can from going to directly to OpenAI. There also that the OpenAI, all the models are built for basically for nonfiction, specifically evaluation. Pseudorite has put some coding in to make it more fiction-friendly. You, ha you have See. to do more prompting. You have to know more about prompting if you're talking to the models directly rather than just putting them, putting things in the story Bible area and then letting the prompting be on the back end on Pseudorite's end to generate the pieces of the manuscript that you need. Does that help? Yes, thank you. But you can, as you see with mine, uh, it's a, I use a mixture of both. Partly because I started with AI when I had to do quite a bit of prompting. So I do know a bit about prompting. And the other thing that makes Pseudorite stand out is the community. It's these classes, it's the Discord group. Everybody's helping everybody. As AI would say, we're all in it together. So we're, we share things like, like Nicole's breakdown of the models, the different plugins. The pl plugins are user created for the most part. There are some that are the staff. But if you look at the plugins, and now I think everybody should have the plugins. They're broken down by, but these are some of the popular ones, but they're broken down by area. And they're plugins for editing and revision. I think there's more than just mine. Yeah. Here's a developmental editor, 
dialogue, stinkifier, flying cliches and kill them. I don't know how close that is to the regular AI cliches. Did it is. It's when that John, he put in that document I started. A I lot was going to ask I'll, if everybody had that document. A lot of them are in that plugin, and it tries to find those actual, the ones that we're always making fun of, our bingo card. Here's my developmental editor when chapter glue can help you transition between chapters better. Uh, but right now, unless you're the developer, click on that. This is mine. This is basically what it is. It's your editor of best-selling fiction, make suggestions for improvement, rewrite to incorporate those suggestions. You still don't know anything about it without going into it. And I will tell you to highlight the pros you want evaluated. Then I say it's very expensive to run. So, and the reason it is, you can have it up to 5,000 words. In your highlighted text, it looks at your entire story Bible, which is another reason it's expensive, because it's taking all of that as input. And then it's going to look at the genre, the highlighted text. Oh, okay. I'm not using, I'm only using the genre and the highlighted text. But then if you look at the AI options, you will see that it's GPT 432K which you cannot get when you generate prose. And like I said, I generated, I think I generated 15,000 word novella with different software. And it was, it cost me around $5, I think, which is pretty expensive for AI. Of course, if you were going to hire a freelance writer, ghostwriter, you couldn't touch it for $5. And then we do have a little bit of leeway here to set some of the parameters. And I made the maximum output 10,000 words because that's usually where it's going to stop anyway. I did try to set this with Claude and it wouldn't run. And I'm not sure why. I need to look at that again and work on it to see because Claude would be a cheaper option. It would give you fewer words back, I think. Elaine, you're calling something here? What? I found another document Nicole put in about uh -huh. the mobs. It's a, what's that thing? Notion? It's a Notion? Uh -huh. You think it's probably okay? She had it in Discord. Do you think it's probably okay if I put the link in here? Yeah, sure. That's a link to a a chat in Discord, I think, from yesterday morning or something like that, where Nicole posted a link to her Notion doc document for thoughts on the different models. And I probably have that in my Notion. I'll run up and see. Because when you get a Notion link, let it come back up. It's called model testing. Is it? Okay. I really need to clean up my notion because it's, yeah, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Which I would think it would be. Too big close. Tell you what, let's do this. Yeah, I know. I'm in Discord. I keep forgetting about the search function in Notion. <laughs> and this is one reason I might... No, I, have, I don't think I've seen this one. Well, wait a minute. Auto-write results. 
That looks like a Rexy thing. Okay, so this is what she did. She went through and actually generated text with these. Now, what you can do, go back to the uh, main page, the model testing page. If you click duplicate, it will put it in your own Rexy, uh, in your own Notion workspace. So all you have to do is click on it. And that this will work with free Notion. You don't need to buy Notion. And some somebody asked about quads cost. I think uh, at most Claud costs twenty dollars a month. There is a free Claud, and I don't know if the free one lets you switch back to two point oh. And there's a limit on how many commands you can give it at a time, and it will say you've used up your command for three hours or something, and you have to wait. There's also a limit in the page. Hopefully, the limit is larger, but it depends on how many people are using the system at a time and what's going on with it, uh, how many that lets you do it. It's like the restrictions they sometimes put in uh, OpenAI with however many you can do. And now you see this is in my own area again. So she, she's been doing the output. I want to look and see. Ah, okay. So she did. Best pros wouldn't write her dark scenes. Nicole writes dark, and she gets censored by the main LLM. So she has to use the, she likes to use the not safe for work models. And the other ones. Of course, this prose refuses everything. She says it hates her and it, she can't get anything out of it. On the other hand, I love it, but I don't write dark. And, or Turbo did the same thing, but most accurate continued the same. Mythomax gave better output here than a story bottle. That's interesting. Hermes Minstrel did a good job of bringing in elements. And Weaver's output was disappointing. Okay. Because we, Weaver has a small context, so it can't handle many much input or, or give you much output. You're, you're better off with Weaver to run two beats at a time, one stride. Yeah, I feel I, like bias is the same way. You don't want to really let it off the leash for more than a couple strides. But if you do have questions about it, just tag her in a post. I suggest you tag her in a post rather than DM her, because if you tag her in a post, other people will see it, and they may have information and opinions about it, too. So you'll probably get more information if you make it a public post and just tag her. But she's the one who's been testing out most of the models. And, and I think... Did she make videos on that, Tomas? I'm going to put a link to her YouTube channel in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, please do. Yeah, because she's made a bunch of videos, so it's hard to tell. One of them's really long. I watched one the other day. It was like an hour and 40 minutes or something like that, and it covered a lot. So it could have uh -huh. been. She's pretty good about covering stuff that people are asking about already. Yeah. And she's done some shorter videos that focus on particular areas. So I, I do suggest that you look at her channel and see what she's done. Frank says that your link to the fight plugin is the wrong one. Can I do that? Oh, which plugin you were using? I don't want to edit a plugin. Back to plugins. Clean enhancement. Would that be where it is? By 60. Dramatic fight scene, maybe? By Alan? 
It's one that FTL fiction put in. Oh, no. Unless it, he's not Alan, is he? Or is he? I have no idea who he is. No. I just know that generally he's really good when it comes to. Yes, him. he seems to be. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put that in. That may be it. May not. I'll see if I can find it again in Discord. Yeah. If I go back. Quick violence. Oh, same person. We'll grab it. And it's only using the two lightning bolts. They did the lightning bolt system to tell you how expensive the plugins are. Okay. That one. Well, yeah, I, those are the two that are fight scene related. Yeah, and it should have been fairly recent. He just put it up. It's not like it's oh. been up all. Yeah. Now, one of them has 312 users and the other one has 3, 120 users, so. What other questions do you have? What are you ready to start booking a month tomorrow? Those of you that are in booking the month, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's good. Oh wait, we have the fight beat coordinator. That's it. Ah, okay. Who does the show did that one? Okay. This yeah. is more expensive. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay. Choreographer. Okay. <laughs> that one. So try those and see if that gives you what you want. Why is it telling me there's no reasons? I don't know. Probably because I can't spell choreographer. Oh. C-H-O-R-E-O-G-R-A-P-H-E-R. -E In fact, that may be misspelled. That may be why you can't find it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was I, Josh, Josh I did, did it yeah. on the list. Yeah, I read it. I read it off the plug-in, so. That again. Find it that way. Message. Yeah, I put the link in the chat, so. Oh, you got it? Okay. Oh, I got it. I put all three of the fight plugins in. Why does that keep coming? That looks like the same one they dissed me on before. Yeah, that, that's not the right one. I think it's just putting in the same one no matter. Because it, say, it says fight beat. Are you on a PC? No, I'm going to. Um, no. Oh, can't help you. Sorry. <laughs> Let me get that in the cold link up there. I don't do. I don't do. Back. Let's see what Claude's one, done for one us. One more quick video to walk y'all through making a plug in pseudo right. Okay. I think we're doing this in chunks over at Claude, so we'll have to do that. Oh, good. That, yeah, that's her channel. That channel. And we'll see how Pseudorite's doing with Chapter 2.
Okay, so it, it wrote from his viewpoint. That's good. Six months deal. It may have looped. I'll have to read this more carefully and see if it did two scenes of him telling her what the deal is. Oh, got 3,500 words out of it. That's not bad. Oh. What model is that? That's pretty cool. This is most accurate. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, he was watching the stream from his coffee while ago, too. Yeah. Which one, once is okay for that, two is not. Uh, Noah couldn't help but feel. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's not here. We got the sunlight. That's that's all of Noah's viewpoint, so that's good. He couldn't help but feel again. I'm not sure. I'd consider that a cliffhanger. Uh so at least that's my method for starting with an idea and generating the prose and then doing some editing for it. And I think ordinarily I used to do the whole book and then I'd go back and edit. But I think with the AI, it's going to be better to edit a chapter at a time and get a chapter fairly finalized and then go on to the next chapter. That doesn't mean that there won't be a final run through and taking out weak words and checking things. But especially, I'm going to need a pass to take out the stride numbers because I definitely don't want to leave stride numbers in a book. That That's my method and my workflow. As I've said all along, yours will probably be different. There's no one right way or wrong way. It's just, this is the way that I've found that works best for me. So you'll find the way that works best for you. So I hope this has been helpful. I will turn off the recording. Let's see. Did, did it. Oh, Em, I'm so glad you're here. DM me in Discord. I just keep asking for cliffhangers. And if you saw, I asked Claude for a cliffhanger. And of course, he's not doing, he's not to that yet. But, and I might feed the outline into maybe chat and say, give me suggestions for cliffhangers. This, with this outline, it didn't give me, it usually gives me better cliffhangers in the outline that this outline did. And I could try to rerun that and see. See, this is they decide to meet at the coffee shop next day. That that's no cliffhanger. So I I might take it back and run it through and say, take this chapter's outline and give me a hook, give me a cliffhanger. Or if I want to, I can come up with one my own on my own. What I hate one night, because I do most of my stuff at night, uh, Sudorite was giving me super cliffhangers. Then the next, of course, the next chapter didn't know anything about that, so it wouldn't wrap it up. And I, I wanted to say, 
What do you mean? Where are you going? <laughs> Finish this. Give it to me. But it didn't. So sometimes you could take the cliffhanger and you, you we could go back to let's where is the oh I'm in the outline. Let me go back to that chapter two. And run down here. Hey Lynn. And, yes. I have a question. Okay. Yeah, I've been trying to do cliffhangers for each chapter. Mm -hmm. And what I found was that sometimes they would it would give away the cliffhanger at the end of the mm -hmm. chapter, which is a pain in the ass. But it is. Yes. I'm just thinking if we can ask it to give us a climax at the end of the chapter, and then we just make it a cliffhanger. We just cut it off. Yes, that that's certainly and, a way to do it. Yeah. But let's try this. I see I've marked the last one. Let's go into rewrite. Oh, I don't want to rewrite. I want to write. Don't I? I thought I wanted to rewrite. Ah, here we go. I'm going to come down. I'm going to customize and my cliffhanger. Let's try it and let's change because that was most accurate. Let's change to most accurate. And yes, I know we're using credits. That's fine. See if it's going to do better. He stepped out in the sunlight, ready to face whatever challenges. Little did he know that danger lurked around the corner. Only time would tell if they were truly ready. Okay, mark your bingo cards with that one. Uh, couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. Her behavior was calculated manipulative. Okay, unexpected journey. Yeah, I think I can do better than that, so I probably will. I probably will. But that's another way to do it. And we could, let's see, if I have that mark, let's go over here. Let's go over to chat. Need a new chat. He's in the passage on a cliffhanger. Stick it in. Send the message. See what happens. Once again, couldn't help but feel. Okay, so his phone buzzed. The content sent a shiver down his spine. Okay, mark your card. Need to talk about the plan. A warning or worse, a sign of betrayal. I like that one better. Yeah. Definitely. What do you think? Gotta see if it'll do. How does the next chapter begin? Because <laughs> a lot of times it'll do a cliffhanger and just leave you hanging. <laughs> I don't think this is turbo. This is the Chat GPT four.
I don't think it is. It might be. I don't think it is. Yeah, that's doesn't say anything about a turbo. That's interesting. I could try it in playground and see if we get anything different there. Mm -hmm. Okay, roll it back up. I'd have to give it all the backstory information, the Bible information in that, but but that's interesting. Take that and. Okay, that one. And then if I go to my outline, and I will steal. Yeah, see. Every one of these the cliffhanger, it ends with them rethinking their idea or whatever it is. See what it does. No, it, it didn't pick up where that left off. I will have to have to do some more work on that. <laughs> oh, correct. Good night, Samuel. Yeah, I'll shut it down pretty soon. And I think, let me stop the recording.